Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea, Rhea for short, and I'm here to do your daily read. And it is for Monday the 7th, isn't it? The 7th of September 2020 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. And remember, my readings can last longer than when they're released. Okay, we have number 48, the Angel of Balance coming out here. Okay, angels, what is the message, please, that people need to hear? This is Monday the 7th of September 2020. I did say September, didn't I? 7th of September 2020. Okay. Ask your angels. You know, this is powerful divine guidance here. Oh, two cards. <laughs> we have ask for help from others. I mean, it seems like don't do this on your own. There is some success here. I feel you have a, it feels like that spiritual support network and also there's people in your life. But this is success. It's very beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we get. So I pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge that this reading pertains to. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome. Should you take the advice? And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have, please, angels? Okay, there we are. Cards out. <laughs> this is about getting back balance as well. Interesting. Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Advice from spirit. We've got the four of pentacles. And the king of wands. Five of swords reversed with the temperance energy. Page of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords, Four of Swords with the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have the Lovers. Yeah. Okay, we have the angel of balance so this is about getting balance back I feel that there is a restoration of balance by your actions or someone's actions towards you it's either generally I do first person but I'm feeling in this energy somebody could be coming in and taking the actions of this reading as well there is balance being restored either way yeah now this is bringing in and I feel this is success this is um yeah i mean there's just an element of it feels like a successful conclusion to be honest um there's a message ask for help from others ask your angels i feel there's somebody else in this situation and it just feels like there's a successful conclusion because the five of swords you know when it's upright it can talk, talk about conflict it can talk about arguments, bad feeling, um, disagreements. Yeah, that kind of energy. This is about making peace with something. Making peace. I kind of feel either you or somebody in the situation that you've argued with, you might have fallen out with, you're kind of thinking, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Because I do feel that this might, this argument might have caused some temporary ending of either a friendship or family talking to each other, uh, somebody in the family talking to each other. Could have been in terms of work as well. I mean, whichever the situation is. Um, could have been in love as well, you know, because we do have the lovers here. This is about 
allowing yourself to move on by making peace with something. There's a card of reconciliation here with these two energies. I see this page of cups as somebody offering where there has been instability. I just feel that stability is restored here because there's a peace offering. It feels like there's a peace offering and I just, it, it feels very much that it's allowing recovery from a situation that has been stressful, worried, upset. It feels like someone has been really stressed out by this argument, this conflict. It's preyed on their mind and they just think, actually, what we argued about, was it really worth it? No, I don't think it was. I have to go back to this person and just make peace with it because, you know, I'm seeing the bigger picture here and realising that you know, there are bigger things to worry about. Let's make peace and allow ourselves to just move onwards, let it go. So that's what I'm feeling in this energy. I just feel that there is a recovery in a situation. So it might well be someone's taken the lead. With this King of King of Wands, it might well be either you or someone is I mean this King of Wands could represent somebody who is doing this, somebody who is um bringing recovery to a situation that has been unhealthy. Um and I just, it just feels someone's taking the lead, someone's making the first move, someone's taking the first step. There's a peace offering here and it's bringing just that nice calm back to the situation. And the bond is again allowed to be there. So it's a lovely energy of getting the bond back. Um, it can be in love, you know, that this can be lovers. Um, again, this can be between two people, remember, as well. So in whatever instance this means. I love the way that Angel Raphael as well, I'm noticing that, because Archangel Raphael is about God's healer, it's to do with health, healing, uh, recovery. So I really like, I'm noticing that quite a lot, because that's, I feel, what this reading is all about. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? And that's the question. Is it worth losing somebody over, losing a friendship, losing communication with a family member, losing this bad feeling between, you know, two people, partnership, husband, wife, um, could even be in the workplace. Somebody's just saying, I need to make the first step. I need to take action. I need to do something about it uh, because it's preying on my mind. And, you know, I've had time to reflect and think about this situation. It's stressing me out. I just want to do something about it and, and bring it to a close. And I do feel that there is a successful conclusion accordingly. I do. I think the other person feels exactly the same way. It's just who's going to make the first move and somebody will make the first move. Okay. Final message, please, angels, spirits, guides. Final message, please, that people need to hear. It's a really nice reading for a Monday. Yeah, <laughs> you're bringing transformation. See all the butterflies, you're bringing transformation to the situation. We have emerging, take the leap of faith. Wow, <laughs> someone's taking that first step. And we have kangaroo, courage. You are being tested, have faith and stand in your truth. And this is be truthful with yourself. Um, somebody is having that pang of, of is this worth it? You know, I could have acted better. And I do think that there is some reconciliation as a result. It's beautiful. You know, this is great. You know, this is great. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's, the one, it's a wonderful day for you. And I will see you next time. Thank you.